Hello, everyone. I'm Gail Gross, and I'm so glad that you are here today to take a look through the new Close to My Heart catalog. I'm an independent consultant with Close to My Heart and have been for almost 10 years now. And they just keep coming out with more and more great stuff and seem to amaze us every single time. This is the catalog we're going to be looking at today. Some of you will already have this in your hands because you are regular customers of mine and they were shipped to you already. Others of you will be able to get one as soon as you place an order. You can do that on my website and I have uh, information about that in the description below. Or you can let me know and we'll find a way to get a catalog in your hands so that you can flip through it before you decide what you want to order. So I am going to show you, first of all, how you can access that online catalog. And so in order to do that, I am going to um, share with you this page from my website. I am scrapandgale.closetomyheart.com. That is the address that's up here. I will have a link to that in the description of this video. What you want to do is come here to these tabs and go to the More tab and select View the Catalog. And that will bring up this page. We have two catalogs active at all times. This is the core catalog, which has been going since September. It contains all of the basics, inks, cardstocks, tools, embellishments, and specialty programs that run year round. Then you have the July-August catalog. And you can just click on this little button over here that says full screen. Click on that, it goes full screen, and you can start flipping through the pages just like we are going to do. So let's uh, get out of that, and then we'll be ready to actually take a look at the catalog itself. Now for those of you that are on my email list, you were given the option of doing a scavenger hunt through the catalog. And this is what you had to take a look at. This is the sheet with eight different pictures from the catalog. You had to identify what they were. We'll talk about them as we hit each one of them in the catalog today. But I just wanted to let you know that we had 14 people participate in the scavenger hunt. And 11 of those people gave me the bonus as far as what their favorite item was in the catalog. Of those 11 people, we had 10 different choices. So you can tell that there's a wide variety of things in this book that will appeal to every type of person, whether you're young or more mature, you've been stamping for a long time, you have kids, you just want to keep in touch with friends, whatever. So I put those names and everybody who had seven, eight, nine tickets from their entries that they gave me and I put them into a random name picker and Flo, you can see right here, was the winner of the free D size stamp set. And I'll let you know when we come to that stamp set today, which one Flo picked out. Then because we had so many people who participated in the bonus drawing, I just put in all the people who did the bonus. And that winner is Roxanne. And so I'm going to show you the little stamp set that Roxanne is going to be getting in the mail. It's just a small M size stamp set and it's perfect for lots of different occasions. And so I hope that she enjoys that. Next time that there's a scavenger hunt, be sure to participate because you can really get some nice things out of it. I also want to tell you that I've got a free offer for you this month of July if you place an order that qualifies you for the stamp of the month. So purchasing the stamp of the month with the qualifying order, you'd have a $55 order. And if you do that, I will send you a free pack of the thin 3D foam dots. What's nice about the thin ones is that you can do double layers on the card. So you can pop one layer up and then pop something on top with that one because the dimension is less. If you need it to be thicker, then just put two of them on top of one another. And they come in two different sizes. This is the small one and this is the larger size. So there's four sheets of each, uh, four sheets total 
two of each size. And when I need to get into little tiny areas, I just take my scissors and literally cut those in half or maybe cut these into three pieces so that I've got a little bit smaller piece that works wherever I need it to go. So place that order and I will send that to you. And that's available to everyone. Even if you've never placed an order with me before, if you go to my website and place that order, I will know where to send these to. So please participate with that. Also, as we start this new catalog, that means that the previous catalog is not available anymore. But there's still products that are left inside this book that are on my website and there's a page called online only. So again, I'm going to show you that here. We're going to go back to um, my home page here and we're going to shop. So I've hit the shop button and down at the bottom of this scrolling, I find online only. When I click on online only, these are things that are left over from monthly specials, kits, stamps, inks, digital art, papers, embellishments, everything that you can imagine, but it's not live in a catalog anymore. As long as the product is still there, you can still order it. So I know that there are some of the stamp sets that are still available from this and some of the embellishments and things that go along with that. But act quickly, they do sell out. I know that some of them which had been available a couple days ago are not anymore. So why don't we talk about what else is coming up this month? I've got a few more videos that I will be doing. One is within a day or so, I will be doing a video specifically focusing on the July card kit. The cards are done. I just need to tweak them a little bit. You know how I say, I finish the card, I take a look at it the next morning, I go, eh, something's not quite right. I need to make an adjustment. I'm still in that phase with a couple of those cards, okay? In the catalog, you're going to see a special called Happiest Place. It's at the very back of the catalog. Even consultants were not allowed to order that until it went live on July 1st. So that order is not arriving to me until Thursday of this week. That is July 9th. So once I have that, I'm going to do another video to show you that product because it's really special. It's got some real special features that we'll talk about. In that video too, I will do a little bit more with the special of the Bring Back My Pack, which is brushed. I'm going to give you some samples and some information about it today, more details when I do the other video about that. And as I mentioned, the previous catalog having retired, I also pointed out to you the core catalog. It is retiring at the end of August. And so I will be doing a video showing you the products within this catalog that will not be available after the end of August. And so you'll want to get those, particularly when we know new colors. I will not know that the colors that are retiring until August. And so once I know those, I will let you uh, in on that little secret. But right now we know the rest of the embellishments and products within this book that will not be around. So I'll do a video with that. Don't want to overwhelm you with too much in one because there's a lot in this new book that we want to get to. So why don't we do that? I'm going to switch over to my other camera. So let me do that and uh, I will meet you right over there. Let me get this and I will pin this one and here we go. Well, you can tell from the catalog cover that this is emulating Disney. The picture that's on here is a picture of Maya Wenghongi. She is the daughter of the president of Close to My Heart, who happens to be a Disney enthusiast, to put it mildly. So I'm going to just move a table that I've got in my way here. So. This is the featured uh, special that I mentioned to you called Happiest Place, and we'll get to that at the end of the book. But anyway, let's start opening this up and see what we've got. Now, this is Summer Vibes, which is the first paper pack in the book. And you can see the bright, bold colors that are in here. On pages four and five, you see all the details of the particular 
papers and the embellishments and extra, extra items that go with it. Fortunately, I have those. So we're gonna take a look at these. The thing that is really special, now remember in the paper packs, you can purchase the paper pack with just the six sheets of paper, or you can include the sticker sheet. And this sticker sheet is special because it has a UV coating. I think you can start to see some of the shine on the flowers, on the beach ball down there, on um, the word summer. Not all of the stickers have that uh, UV coating on them, but many of them do, and that makes it extra special when you put it on your project. These would work great on cards. They would also work great in scrapbook layouts. And you've got a lot of little sentiment um, it's down here that you just peel off and stick on because that's what stickers are good for. Now here's the bold paper and it's of course two-sided. So the first piece is this beautiful glacier and fern and this piece that looks like water. Then we've got the picnic type paper and the back of it is this large floral design. I love this striped paper because it's not only striped, it is um, stripes within stripes, as you can see. And somehow the second piece of it disappeared. Here it is. And the back side of it is this with all of the fun little icons of summer, flip-flops, popsicles, sunglasses, uh, fruit and leaves and so on. So there's lots of versatility with that. The nice thing about the double-sided paper, if you don't want to use this side of it, this is an extremely versatile piece that can work with so many things. Now, the embellishments that go with this are acrylic shapes. You can see how they're shining in the light. There's, these have the flamingo, and you can see the depth of those acrylic shapes. They work great on your projects with using blue dots to adhere them. You can see here words. Summer is divided into two parts so that you can put it down the way you want to. It's not broken. If, however, any of these pieces break as you're working with them, it's easy just to put them back together by putting the mini glue dots behind them and sticking them up together with one another. You've got the sunglasses, you've got the palm tree, the watermelon, the love, a bunch of little hearts and stars and the leaf and the palm tree. So those are really, really fun to work with. As you probably remember, our paper packs all come with um, picture my life cards. They're showing down in the bottom right corner. While I'm looking for where I put the picture my life cards, let me tell you about this Cricut collection up here in the corner. Because that is a complement to the whole paper pack. You will recognize that some of the elements that are shown here for the Cricut are also done here in the acrylic shapes. But maybe you have a Cricut and you are able to use design space, then you can get this cartridge for $9.99. This is just a sampling of the images that are on that cartridge or image set as they're now being called. And then you can create these in whatever size you want, whatever color you want them to be, and use them after this paper pack is long gone. You'll still be creating with summer vibes. Now, Here are the Picture My Life cards. These are four by six and three by four cards. And they have many of the images that you see elsewhere on stamp sets and on the paper. But these are really fun to use. Primarily they were designed for pocket scrapbooking. They work with regular scrapbooking as well. This would work well even on a card front. And what's nice is that you see it's here in the uh, portrait uh, shape and here's the landscape. So you get it both directions depending on, on which way you want to use it. The same is true with this one. All of these are that way. Sometimes there's a different color on the back. So lots of versatility with these. They work great with regular scrapbooking as well as pocket. They work great on cards and 
they're just fun little um, note cards all by themselves. So there's a lot of versatility. There's the flamingo. Uh, walking on sunshine, those flowers again. You can see how they coordinate well with the paper pack. So those are the picture my life cards and the sunglasses. That This part of it was one of the options in the scavenger hunt and almost everybody got that, picked it out. As always, we have stamp sets that go with this. So this one has that image of that coconut drink. And who wouldn't want to enjoy one of those on a nice hot day? And so there's die cuts that go with this. And most of the stamp sets that are in the catalog have die sets with them. Sentiment ones, not so much. But it's nice to have that option for you. This is the card making set. And this is the uh, scrapbooking set. Very versatile. Excuse me. Then we have the workshops. This is the workshop uh, for scrapbooking. And for those that have done the newly designed scrapbooking workshops in this, in the catalogs, you know that you get these pieces that are punch out shapes that you're going to use to create those layouts. So this big heart has, you punch out all those little hearts, you use them over here and you let the paper shine through behind. This one also has a grid over here that you put over the top of the page. And here they're going to work on helping you uh, understand how to make clusters and groupings of the stickers and other embellishments to create something that's really personal for you. And that's really, really fun. And the paper in the kits this time includes some exclusive papers that are only available when you get the scrapbook workshops. Then there's also the card making workshop. This comes with the stamp set and the dies that go with it. And it gives you enough materials to make 16 cards, four of each of these designs. Now, you can mix and match them. You don't have to make them all the same as this is, but it gives you ideas and that's what's really nice. And they're just fun. And this card right here the image of the watermelons was also in the scavenger hunt. Now the second paper pack that we have is called Timber. While the first pack had really bold, colorful papers, this one is our masculine outdoors themed paper. And it will be very, very versatile for you. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different options with this. When I look at this and I see on the Cricut cartridge, this big guy right here, I don't know how many of you have spent any time up in Flagstaff at Northern Arizona University, but they are the lumberjacks and outside of the domed stadium, they have one of these large statues. And we spent a lot of time in the summers up in Flagstaff while my husband was going to school and the boys would stand underneath the legs of that big old uh, lumberjack and he, they were totally dwarfed by him. And that's what I think of when I look at this, this um, picture there. So let's take a look at the paper. This time, the uh, sticker sheet does not have anything extra on it. But boy, are those wonderful masculine images on that sticker sheet with the plaids the wood tone, and this is a really deep wood tone that's actually one of the papers. This plaid here is also one of the papers. And the bear, he's the king apparently. Now the papers themselves. This is the uh, light tannish brown on one side with this uh, wildlife themed paper on the other side. Then there's that deep wood grain that I told you about and the red plaid. Then there's the green plaid with the green with the small little trees on it. So I want you to think about what some of these papers might be able to be used for. And is anybody thinking that Christmas would be a good idea? Well, some of the other consultants have, 
and they have created some ideas and I am working to use the GNOME stamp set and come up with some ways to do some Christmas cards, a Christmas in July stamp kit. So I'll be working on that and I will have more information. A video will be posted. So if you're not subscribed already to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and then you'll receive notifications when those videos come up. The picture my life cards here are great. Again, you can find lots of versatility in these cards. And you see again, they just follow through with the same, same thing, but these would be perfect on the front of a card without having to do any stamping. And um, I think the axes, and I don't know how many of you are aware of the axe throwing craze that's been going on, but they would be perfect for that. So here's the four by six cards and lots of, lots of possibilities. This just screams, it's the front of a card without having to do anything. So take a look at how quick and easy you can do that with these. Now the embellishments for this set of papers are not um, acrylic shapes like we had before. That would not fit with the rustic. These are craft die cut pieces. And some of them, these black pieces here, I'm hoping that I can show this, that it is, does have a little bit of a, uh, yeah, there we go. It is a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not super glossy, but it's kind of a matte uh, glossy, but it is definitely different than just normal printing. And I want you to take a look at this bear. I'm not sure how closely you can see it, but I've used a watercolor pencil on half of them. So on this side, I colored him a little bit darker brown and left the other side plain. There's flexibility for you to work with these and create them to be a little bit more what you want them to be because it's really easy to color on that craft. So lots of fun pieces right there. Uh, so, and one person said that the Cricut collection for timber was her favorite item in the catalog. So here we go. These are the card making and scrapbooking sets, stamp sets, and both of them have dies that go with them. You can see that by the colored image shape around them. These are on pages 16 and 17 of the catalog. And you will notice that both here, oops, in the card making, there's a plaid image. And here in the scrapbooking, there's a plaid image. In fact, this is the one that was in the scavenger hunt. So you can see down here the way those two from the scrapbooking set have been used together. The lighter one being done with this larger print and then the darker gray, uh, brown being used over the top of it to create an easy um, plaid pattern. You can do it in whatever color you want. And on this one, you can see right here in that circle that they have pulled out the image and shown you how that plaid looks on the page. And because the stamps are clear, it's really easy to match them up. Now, this is the scrapbook workshop and it is uh, a favorite of, no, this was the favorite of somebody else on the scrapbooking set, not the workshop, because of the sentiment, the man, the myth, the legend, okay? So now let's take a look at the scrapbooking set, which again has exclusive papers. They are going to be working in this one with um, instructions for making these diagonal cuts because it's not a full diagonal across the whole page, just a part of it. And they're going to give you instructions on how to carefully do that. And there's some pockets on the pages on the page over here. Additionally, there are some exclusive paper patterns in this kit. On the card making workshop on page 20 and 21, you will see some very basic shapes that can be used for so many things besides just using them to cut out these stamps. You will get enough materials to make 16 cards, four of each of these designs. And if you notice the fish card right here, you will be given instructions on how to use a sponge to get the ink onto the 
fish stamp, which is solid, so that you can get that change of color look going with that. So each of the workshop kits is trying to give you some technique along with just making some fun cards. Okay, the last set of papers that we have is what we call the mix-ins. The reason it's called mix-ins is because you can see here that we can mix it in with all the other papers in the pack. So here's paper from Timber, here's paper from Summer Vibes, here's mix-in, here's mix-in, here's mix-in, here's Summer Vibes, here's mix-in. These papers have really become one of my favorite paper packs to work with because they are so versatile. And you get six sheets. There's no sticker sheet that goes with these, but this has got the peach and sort um, smoothie, and the backside is more of just a peach. And then you've got this grid, it looks like an accountant sheet with just a, a very light, uh, like a charcoal gray color there. Both sides of this have green patterns on them which works great. Here is a brown with a um, smoothie on the other side, which coordinates well with the peach as well. This dotted pattern and a star pattern here. And then we've got the sapphire pattern and a glacier, um, kind of a gingham almost on this side. So that's the mix in paper pack. And they're just a lot of fun to work with and have around to add to any project you've got. Well, that takes care of those paper packs. So let's start looking at the stamp sets. Now this is on page 25 and it is called Joyful Sunflower Stamp. Again, it does have a die that goes with it and it is just stunning. The dies and the stamps themselves cut this so well that the images are really, really nice. There's a die for this fence and a stamp. This is the stamp set that Flo chose for her winning the scavenger hunt. She's already let me know about that. So this will be ordered for her and she'll be getting that soon. The other thing I wanna share with you is this is one of the cards for the July class. The cover of it is using a glacier background and one of the sunflowers, you notice there was that stamp for the label. That's just a solid canary color. And there's some Cricut cut grass. Now this is one of those cards I'm tweaking because there's going to be another layer of grass in front. But here's what happens when you open this card up. We've got dimension. We've got a fence going all the way across the inside of the card and it will stand up and you can see that. You'll notice that I cut the die for the fence three times and glued them together, but I did not stamp it. I didn't feel that it was necessary. Plus that's a lot of stamping if I'm putting these kits together for you all. But there is a stamp that goes with it and you can see that right here and on your page in the book on page 25. So lots of possibilities with this stamp set and I have really enjoyed working with it. Like I said, you can see just how beautiful those sunflowers are and the inside ones, you get three different designs of the sunflower and it's just really fun and really quick and easy to color. I did use the new tri-blend markers on this, but um, I really like using watercolors as well and watercolor pencils in particular. Okay, let's turn the page. I don't have either of these stamp sets, but this first one is called Love Liz Here and it's got the family and you can use that in so many different ways and some great sentiments that go with it. So for families and uh, grandkids, whatever, then a really nice floral set, no coloring involved with this one. And it's got, of course, dyes that go with that as well. On page 28, we have another fan favorite in this always loved. You are enough. You are the best part of my day. The glitter to my glue. I love that one. Lots of good sentiments that go with that and it can just go with any stamp set that you want it to go with. Then there is the flamingo and I do happen to have the flamingo. We've had flamingos in the past. We, they just seem to keep coming back. So I took the stamp set with the dies 
and I made two of them. One I just stamped on the Blue Skies uh, paper that has those little dots on it. Don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of dimension on there on this one. Did no coloring, just stamped it and that was it. This one, again, I used my tri-blend markers really quickly, blended the pale pink and the bright pink together, and that was it. So cute for a tag. We will try making something with this probably in August, okay? Then on page 29 are the mandala shapes, and there's dies that come with these, and I've seen some wonderful artwork done where this is this image is embossed and then you ink over it. For instance, if you have white, you get a resist when you ink over it. And you don't have to sit and color all those little sections in and it's just gorgeous. But it also works great just stamping it in a single color and leaving it alone. And you can see back here it's stamped in white and I believe that is embossed back there. And you don't have to color each little section in. You can see by the just a note card that they've only colored a few of the things in. So make it easy on yourself. It'll still be beautiful. Page 30 has Treasured Memories, which again is a fan favorite that was selected by somebody. It's got small dainty florals that can be added, but it's great with some sympathy thoughts and um, just very versatile in a lot of different ways. The ink splotch background, you can see how it's used here. You can use that in so many ways on lots of different cards. The one on page 31, again, was a fan favorite, and it is a favorite of mine as well. It's called Winged Wishes. It has the bird, the birdhouse, the branch, the butterfly, and this little tiny label with small sentiments that fit perfectly inside. Again, I am using this for a card in the July class. This is the card. This is that really dark um, wood grain pattern from the Timber Collection. And then I've used mint and evergreen cardstock with it. And I used watercolor pencils to color the images on this. But look how dainty that little label is down here. I just think it's perfect to uh, give us some sentiment on this one. So that's card number two for July. All right, we're ready to turn the page and we get a lot of variety on pages 32 and 33. I'm going to start with 33 first because it's got the plants and if you are a plant lover then you're going to want to get this because there's lots of variety there. It'd be great for so many things. Um, the dyes make it so easy and these would be really quick to color or just stamp them on green paper. And then the other two, uh, this is this right here, be wonderful for journaling and together is a wonderful place to be uh, a new home or a new marriage. This would be a great, a great card to make with that. Page 34, as you, many of you know, we do have a presence in Australia and New Zealand. So of course a koala is perfect to have uh, for the people that live there who have them around them all the time. But I used to live in San Diego and I loved going to the zoo because the koala was my favorite. So we will be using the koala stamp um, in August. And then on page 35, we've got the little buddies. Again, a fan favorite. Now, some of you have been around for a while and you already have stamp sets from the Operation Smile, small little punny pals and so on. But if you don't have those, this is a great stamp set, has some cute little sentiments with it. We still have, and they will continue, these two dies, the one with the circles and the one with the squares, the multi-window dies, and those little critters are perfect in there. I've also seen them used in conjunction with a couple of other stamp sets. So we will use this stamp set also in August. All right, this is the only stamp set that two people liked. So it gets the top favorite award, and that is the Gnome Matters. Actually, just matter. And there's the little gnomes. I showed you them with the timber paper for Christmas. We're going to make, see how we can use those to create Christmas cards, okay? But also, there's other things you can do with that. 
And one of them is what we're going to do in the July class, and that is the shaker card. And I'm getting the reflection of my light there on this shaker acetate, but yes, there's really sequins in there. And one of the things that I'm doing with this is focusing on the fact that with the core catalog retiring, that means that the color of the year is also retiring. Color of the year is julep. You can see julep all over the place here. This is some leftover paper from every little thing that was out in September. This is the julep glitter paper and julep sequins and julep gemstones. Let me show you all of those a little bit more up close. So here's the glitter paper. Woo! That's bright. Okay. Here are the sequins, the loose sequins, okay, so that you can get them and um, add them to whatever project you are working on. And I opened that upside down, so I'm going to try very carefully to close it without losing them all. But I'm just going to set them carefully aside. Okay. Um, then we also have uh, julep shimmer trim, which if you don't, if you just want strips, you don't want to have to cut up your uh, cardstock glitter paper, then we've got the julep shimmer trim and we have a julep ribbon as well. So that's, that's a good one. And then these are the julep glitter gems. Okay. All of this will be retiring at the end of the year, at the end of August. I'm sorry, not the end of the, it's the end of our catalog year. But I also wanted to show you that inside of the shaker card here, I've also added some of the confetti stars. And I opened this the right way, so I'll be able to get the lid back on. But those have been added in to the shaker card. And again, that will be one of the cards that we will be making in July. Let's set those things aside. And look at the next page. On page 37, you are going to see the Paper Pal Beach Day. Now, some of you might not know what Paper Pals are. For the past two years, we have had a set of dies and coordinating stamps that made paper dolls. You can see them right up here in the corner. And every catalog, we've had new embellishments, new clothing for the kids in, in these Paper Pals. So with this one, we've got a beach scene. I will tell you right now that if you are interested in this whole collection, that the base of the paper pal and the base stamps are retiring at the end of August. So those will not come back in. So if you are interested and you've been getting bits and pieces, now's the time to pick up the rest of them. Okay, now here's another fan favorite from somebody who doesn't even bowl but she liked the bowling scent set called Strike Up Some Fun. I absolutely love it. Um, I used to bowl and my kids bowled, but um, um, because of my wrist problems, I can't do that anymore, but it's still gonna be a fun stamp set to use to record some memories and have fun with that. We're just about done with the stamp sets. And this is the last one that is not associated with the special, but it sure looks like it is because it's an alphabet set that looks like it's the Disney font, okay? So let's take a look and turn the page and we are going to see what we've got with this happiest place. Now, I'm, if you're getting this video via an email link, I will be attaching a flyer that gives you all the details about the specials as far as bundling things with this, with this program. So these are the sheets of paper, and there are 12 sheets of paper in this pack instead of our normal six, okay? And the sticker sheet with this one has silver foil on it that really looks like it's been embossed. I will have that in my hands on Thursday, and I will be showing that to you at that time. Now, while everything that's being done with this, people are interpreting it as Disney, but you will notice that there is nothing here that actually says Disney. So there is a consultant workshop that has been created that uses this paper for just fun everyday activities. And so I can share with you some of that information when I do the video about it. 
the cardstock, and this was one of the items on the scavenger hunt, this glacier piece of cardstock. And what happens here is that you get two pieces of the cardstock. One is plain, the other has silver foiled images, whether they're stripes or stars, on one side. The paper pack comes with 12 sheets. You get two different designs of black, the white, the red, candy apple, glacier, and the lemon. So you get one plain and one foiled for each of those colors. Again, these are acrylic shapes, just like what I showed you for Summer Vibes. Now this in the catalog on page 42 is listed as a Cricut collection for the happiest place. However, they made a switch to this and now it is an SVG collection. So you can get it and download it from the website when you order. This will work with any die cutting machine that actually accepts SVG files that you upload yourself. That's great because it expands the possibilities for people who don't own a Cricut but wanted to do some of these projects. Then there's of course a stamp set and it has a die that goes with it. So that's, that's great and I love this. Uh, we went to medieval times when the boys were young, and I would have loved to have had that stamp right there to use on the layouts that I did for that, uh, that trip. So then we turned the page again, and there was another SVG file that was designed. And these are just five single images that you can use. And of course, you can cut them apart. So if you need a roller coaster, there you've got it. And you've got lots of different things. You'll notice that this best trip ever has actually been used with heat transfer vinyl on the cover of an album. And I have done that and I love using heat transfer vinyl on the album covers. It's just a wonderful way to go. This last page dealing with this special on page 45 shows a cut above layout, meaning that everything is pre-printed on the base pages and you have punch out like the die cuts that I showed you in the scrapbooking workshops. You have stickers and uh, you just put them together into a complete 16 page book. So there's um, seven pages that are uh, double pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's a cover page and a back page. And there are flip flaps that are included with this. And it's just great. And I just saw that somebody had taken those eight and a half by 11 pages and turned them into 12 by 12. So there's ways to do it if you are a 12 by 12 scrapbooker instead of an eight and a half by 11. Like I said, I will have more information on that and I will be sending a flyer for you as well. Okay, now we're on page 46 and this is where we get our die cuts. This die cut is shown at 50% of its actual size. It is actually six inches across. So up here, this is a six inch layout that is being done. And that's how big that die cut is. It's a two, two part, a base with the overlay piece. And it just looks really, really fun to work with. The other thing that is on page 46 are our new shimmer brushes. We've got quite a collection of shimmer brushes. I was just going to show you. These are all the different colors. Not only do we have the ones that are shown on page 46 over there, the toffee, peach, raspberry, lagoon, bluebird, evergreen with the new lemonade and green apple, but there are some in the core catalog from held over from previous years, clear and gold and red and black and mint. So lots of possibilities with these. But I do want to show you these two new ones. I just opened them up today and I, they're just lots of fun. I'm going to move this out of the way and bring in a stand so that you can actually see me do this because I, the camera is not going to go down. So here we go. This is lemonade. I label these myself. They have the color here, but the color that's on this end doesn't, there's nothing on the other end that's going to tell me what it is. So you can see that it's just a beautiful, bright, vivid yellow there with it. And come back down there. Be nice to swoosh that first and then stamp over the top of it. And as I moved everything around, uh, there's the green apple one. And this is the green apple. 
And I can do the same right here with this. Now it's a little bit goopy because I just started it up, but look how bright and vivid those colors are. Now I know that we use them in a variety of ways, but I wanted to show you, and hopefully you saw the shimmer actually going on with those there, okay? What I did here, this is the stamp of the month for July. And so I can actually come in here and I can color these little leaves. I'm not very steady right here, but with my brush, I can color them. Okay, the leaves are a little bit trickier, but the flower is really quite easy to color. A larger space to work with. And now it's not like I don't have to color it with my colored pencil and then come over it. I'm just gonna take my lemonade shimmer brush and color in my flower and it's done. You can see I did a couple of other leaves over here beforehand. So you can see that it does work and it would be nice. Do the large ones with the shimmer brush and use a different method on some of the smaller ones. Get this back out of the way. Okay, now we've got the stamp of the month. Oh, one thing I did want to mention to you is we do not have any embossing folders in this catalog. So there's nothing to look for if you're trying to find that. Okay, so this is the stamp of the month for July and it is called For My Beautiful Friend. Some wonderful sentiments, some great floral pieces and this lady holding the bouquet that she is taking to her friend. But that stamp is very, very versatile. You can see up here in the samples that they've given how you can keep it extremely simple or you can do have it cover the whole page. And what I wanna show you is that we're gonna use this in the stamp kit in uh, July. And this is making use of brushed. That's the paper pack from five years ago that's been brought back and we're going to use an envelope and tuck our little bouquet into that. Yes, the ladies right there, I just cut her legs off and she fits perfectly inside of the envelope. I'm going to give more de details because there will be color choices on your envelope. So it'll fit more the color scheme that you want. And because again, this is double sided paper, you could use the back side of it as well. Um, and so I'm just going to show you something really quickly with that. So here's, these were the stamp sets from five years ago. They are available, okay? This is beautiful and I wanna do a specialty card with that to show you some of the features. Something we didn't have five years ago with the sticker sheets, but look at how bright and bold these colors are, okay? But different than the summer vibes. So this is more floral and uh, some pastels. And when you take a look at this whole palette of colors, look at this, this green and then the yellow, that's the back side of it. Then you've got this blue with the leaves. And this is that bokeh piece of paper. If you remember that from five years ago. And then this is the back side of the piece of paper that I showed you with the card, the big floral print on the front. And then this pattern peak is on the back side. And we've used this five years ago, we made a purse project out of this. Many of you did that with me, this purse that opened up, okay, and held our cards inside. It was really fun, thanks to Lynn's sharing some information with me. So that's it. And I have used this, I've shown this to you, different color scheme, because this is using some of the older paper but this was a gift card holder and another gift card holder. So those are fun things with this bright, bold paper that you can now get it still going until the end of July only because it started up in May, but I did not, uh, did not have the paper at that time. So then the last one that I want to show you is the stamp of the month for August and that is called Floral Celebration. And you see this little squiggly line down here at the bottom? That was also a part of the scavenger hunt. So that was the last one that we had on the page, in fact. 
again, you've got some great flowers, you've got some great sentiments that are going in there. And quick and easy, you don't have to really do coloring as you can see in the examples of that. And that's always a plus. Well, on the back, once again, we have our Operation Smile stamp set. That is the charity for Close to My Heart. And we have continued to exceed all kinds of expectations with donations to Operation Smile during the pandemic because of special um, things that have been going on with Close to My Heart and promotions that they've had be, that people would get if they made a contribution to Operation Smile. And what I wanted to mention to you is that Close to My Heart has been doing online events quite a few of them during this time because they know that we as consultants cannot get our people together um, because of restrictions that we have. And they are going to be having another one of those events um, in, they're actually doing one today with the brushed one, brushed papers, and then they've got more coming. So I'll give you the information about that. No charge to you. You don't have to buy any product to participate. You can just say you're going to go and watch and get ideas. They're great teachers, the gals that are working at Close to My Heart in all the offices and all of the people in charge of everything. They are just incredible artists in their own right, which is, which is really fun to work with them. And I've had the privilege of being able to do that with them. Um, so anyway, that's just, I'll give you more information about that in the description down below, as well as in the email that I send for those of you that are getting this via the email link. Okay, so as I mentioned, subscribe to my email, not my email, but subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wanna get notices of those upcoming videos that I mentioned to you. Leave a comment below if you are interested in getting on my email list. You know, you don't have to be here in Prescott Valley, Arizona in order to participate. I have customers on the East Coast, in the Northeast, Northwest, um, across the state. So there's possibilities. And with classes that I'm doing, my Zoom classes for these um, uh, stamp kits during the pandemic and the YouTube videos that I'm following up with everyone, it's good. I can reach a lot more people that way. So don't hesitate. I'm free to give you a call or we can communicate via emails or even do a video chat with one another if you want to. So leave a comment to be added. I will also put my email address down there if you just want to send me an email and, and ask me any questions. So look forward to those other um, videos coming, particularly the one with the stamp kit. And I know some of you are really anxious to see that in more detail and uh, have fun going through the catalog and hopefully playing with some of that new product. Bye-bye.